Hi everybody, and today I am at Sean's Well in North Marston, where I'm going to show you how John Sean caught the devil in the boot, and um, I hope you enjoy it. Hi everybody, it's such a beautiful January Sunday morning that I thought I'd take a drive six miles out of Aylesbury to North Marston. I recently was told about John Sean's Well and I've got to say this beautiful village that I've never visited before. Anyway, let's take a walk down to the well and I'll tell you the story. John Sean was the rector of St Mary's Church, North Marston, from 1282 to 1314 AD. One of his first miracles, supposedly, was to cure a woman of epilepsy by catching the devil in a boot. But more likely is that in those times, the very painful affliction, gout, an inflammation of the toe joint normally caused by bad diet, and I've had it twice and it's agony, was called the devil in the boot. And in one particular year during a drought, he stuck his staff into the earth and water poured out. This miraculous spring became the well. It is today having amazing healing qualities, especially for gout. So much so that Henry VIII visited twice to hopefully alleviate his painful gout. As you've just seen, there is a small spat statue depicting John Sean catching the devil in the boot. And this plaque, which is already showing me to be a liar by telling you he was rector from 1290 and not 1282. Oh well, caught out again. Sack the researcher. You can see that the work the village did to restore the well in 2004-2005 is absolutely fantastic. And to finally pump water again after a hundred years in a brilliant and very fun way. Now, I'm just going to have a quick break from the story to pump the handle, fill the trough with water and hopefully I will get the devil to pop his head out of the boot. Well, that was harder than I expected, holding the camera at the same time, but at least it was successful. Anyway, back to the story, as we take a little stroll through the churchyard of St Mary's. The much-loved rector passed away in 1314 and was buried in the north chancel of this church. By now the well, and later his shrine, became one of the top three pilgrimages in the country. With miracles reportedly happening in the shrine, in 1478, the Bishop of Salisbury, Richard Beecham, thought that North Marston was getting a bit too much action, and he wanted some of it. He thought he might be onto a bit of a money spinner if he had John Sean reburied in St George's Chapel, Windsor, so he obtained a licence from the Pope to do just that. It didn't really take off in Windsor, basically because they didn't have a well. With Henry VIII's break with the Catholic Church, pilgrimages came to an end. But the villagers still used the well. From the 16th century, it was sheltered by a well house. Inside, there were steps down to the well, the opening being five foot six inches square. In July 1861, it is said that a local woman, Catherine Watson, went to the well with her three-year-old daughter, Sarah. As Catherine walked down the narrow steps, she slipped and fell into the cistern. The water was nearly seven feet deep, and unfortunately, Catherine drowned. In other versions of this tale, she didn't drown, so who knows. But it did cause the well house to be locked up and a pump installed next to it. 
and before the end of the century, the well house had gone and the well was covered over. It basically looked like a coal bunker until 2004-2005 when it was restored to how it looks today. Now to learn more about this really great historical site, contact northmastonhistory.org.uk. I'll put the details down below. They do some fantastic leaflets, booklets, DVDs, etc. in their online shop, which includes pewter pilgrimage badges depicting John Sean. When I'm visiting graveyards, I'm always looking out for the graves of servicemen who gave their lives for this country. This grave is a Private J. Gowan of the Oxford of Books Light Infantry, who was killed on the 29th of November 1917. Thank you, Private Gowen. And over here in this lovely part of the churchyard is Private A.B. Cheshire of the Buckinghamshire Battalion of the Oxford and Bookslight Infantry, who died on the 15th of November 1916, aged 21. Thank you, Private Cheshire. Now, I don't know what this old car in the hedge is about, but I'd like to conclude my really enjoyable walk round historic North Marston on a beautiful day with some good old-fashioned lovely English countryside. And now it's time for a fry-up. So see you again soon. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, ding the bell for notifications of future videos and a thumbs up really helps and thank you so much for watching.